technically. But Jump City and Larry were the last two Smashers I actually saw <laughs> before this whole uh, quarantine. Well, Larry is playing Persona, so I don't think he made it. Unfortunate, but hey, you know what? Jump City is going to be the one to carry the A1A torch here into the top 24. Did he? He did not get double eliminated by a Bowser, did he? I hope not. I hope for his sake not. I mean, but I mean, look, in, in the world of online Smash, it's a whole different tier list. I mean, to me, Ness is considered like a high tier to a high tier character, but in online, this character is indefinitely probably top five, in my opinion, honestly. Okay, so Larry lost to the Luigi that also beat Hungrybox. Uh, okay. We may actually have an opportunity to see that Luigi later on tonight because he's fighting against uh, Smash Brony to make it out of pools and into top 24. Yeah, so far on the winner's side, we have a DQ from Luisfer. In Fairy, we have Fail, Nick. I'm oh, sorry, we have In Fairy, Fail, Lumbre. We have Dragon Neal and Rhino Dude here. And we have Jump Steady on Losers alongside Rock. Ronnie Ann, Show, D Shep, Kiraflex, White Nova, AZ, and Needles. So, winner's side looking to see probably. I mean, according to the projection of Smash.gg, uh, Lindbergh was supposed to lose to. I was supposed to be Gayo, but it says here that, you know what? Lindbergh is going to see himself in grand final. So, we'll see if the projections are true here on Smash.gg. Is that what the projection says? That Lumber is going to be in Grands? Grands, Grands against Gao. Actually. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I do know Dragneal does have the Palutena, so I'm definitely going to see how that's going to bode for Rhino Dude. Wow, what a surprise. No Palutena. Uh, instead of Mewtwo. I mean, hey, man, that's online. You know, like I guess that man, it's different, different, two, different tier lists. I can definitely it's rise up characters. Different not. game. Yeah, it, it feels like a completely different game. We'll we'll see what uh, Dragno can do here. Okay, so Ryan Dude is SoCal native. Uh, well, one of our SoCal players typically goes to a Wednesday night fight, so I see him quite a bit. He yeah. does have a habit when he is trying to recover high. Uh, that I'm wondering if Dragneel is able to catch. I do like the know. fact that he was trying to catch Vernon at the top the platform that was an up air. He, like you said, right, recovering high. He may not be going for a jump from that platform, but the fact that he's still in that elevated plane, uh, that's definitely for Dragneel to understand. Okay, good wake up attack. It's going to get rid of that bomb and put Rhino Dude off the ledge. Oh, headshot. It was only half charged, so it's not going to have that much launch power. Oh, nice. Kind of stalling himself there, trying to get away from any of Sam's shenanigans. Quick charge of the Shadow Ball here. This puts Dragneal in a really good position here. Barely missing the ledge jump, but it doesn't matter. The M like from the screw attack will be enough to set Dragneal a stock to his, his own side. Okay, down tilt into forward air. A quick damage onto Rhino Dude and just continuing to pressure Rhino Dude on the right side of the stage. With that 150%, you know, <laughs> Dragnail's looking mighty tasty. Yeah, you know you want to go for that grab. <laughs> <laughs> An up throw was pretty much warranted at that point. Yeah, I mean, especially if, especially Samus up throw. Okay, but again, two up airs. Dragon down to the second up air. That's quite interesting from Rhino Dude. But escaping the confusion. You mentioned it right, recovering high. I mean, that one opportunity right now had to go a little bit low this time, but you can see that Dragneel is kind of like taking advantage of the fact, okay, if he tries to go high, there is a lot of options I have here. Yeah, I'm hesitant to just say someone's like bad, all the bad habits on stream just because somebody, <laughs> a player might be in the chat and I would just be like, hey, Here's a bunch of weaknesses that they have, but good up smash from Dragneal, and that's going to close out a second stock ah, I mean, before you, taking 102%. You, I mean, you know what they say, right? You don't get good from learning your your victories. You get good from understanding your weaknesses, and wow, that is a weak... 
He was at 53. What? Yeah, in the middle, he, the time he hit him with the down air, it climbed up to 71. That was crazy. I mean, but now we know why Dragon Ball went Jutsu. His ability to kind of stall himself out a little bit and then still reflect Samus's projectiles. Also having great movement and great also having a great projectile to yeah yeah that. Battle ball. so if rhino dude wants to go like charge charge shot then dragneel can charge uh shadow, shadow ball. ball interesting all right i i see you dragneel oh thank you comic Kawa, uh, kawami kaze kawami kaze for a tier one sub, fifteen, 15 months, months in a row. Fifteen so months. Much. Let's go. Fifteen months. Wait, you have fifty-two months, Exia? That's crazy. Oh shoot! Oh, sorry, I didn't even I, know. I didn't even show. I'm just calling out the subs as they appear on the chat, Exia. Yeah, War Chief, where are my sub alerts? I need to see <laughs> some sub alerts on here. <laughs> this is Mega Smash Mondays online. Exit. Shout, shout outs to one of the one of the biggest people who hopped <laughs> out this community for a long time. Yeah, Exia the GOAT. Yeah, he really is a GOAT, dude. Great guy all around. But we'll see what great guys can do here because it's a rematch of Rhino Dude and of course I was gonna say Pokemon, but it's Dragneel. <sighs> Man, if Pokemon got this far, that would be <laughs> that'd be a hype YouTube video. That would, man. About to clear it up for this for the YouTube vids, man, looking for the subs. Wrap it up in one nice package, man. That's gonna be a good, good looking layout. Okay, well, right now, dude, taking on a lot of damage and that up throw, not gonna be enough. Saw some good DI coming from Dragneel. Ooh, okay. Oh, and the jab. Wow. wow. <laughs> I mean, because of Mewtwo's weight, it makes sense. Like, the fact that the third hit of the jab would actually, like, hit, it has the most knockback out of all three of them. I'm just surprised it worked. Yeah, same. It's the first <laughs> I've seen of it, honestly. Okay, Dragnail taking his time, and the charge up smash is going to catch the roll. Not too much extra credit onto Dragnail, so really easy to make up that damage. Seen up tilt, but no conversion. Oh, this time we're seeing Dragnail take a lot of damage here. As well. Yeah, I mean, a charge shot into, I think it was a forward air or an air, just attacked on so much damage onto Dragnail. Look at that Rhino dude able to just continue to ledge trap Dragnail until you just took the stock. Yeah. I mean, you explained weaknesses, man. I feel like Rhino dude was probably listening to the stream here and he was like, <laughs> all right, fine. I see this weakness Z fly out. I'll change. I can make a change. Okay, well, there's the... Yeah, forcing off the ledge, and we see more of these more of these little bombs coming out from Rhino Dude. Yeah, the thing about Bomb Ball 2 is it's really good to set up at the ledge, because it also has an active hitbox while it bounces, but also an explosion. So your opponent has to account for those two abilities there, especially in the fact that it drops down. Yeah, and you can tell like how Rhino Dude's placing those bombs, especially at the ledge. He's either trying to catch your jump or your neutral get up, or you... <laughs> Or if he pulls back a little bit, you know, he's looking for the roll. So Ooh. he is trying to... He's definitely eliminating your options once he's setting up those bombs. But up yeah. throw, not going to be enough, but directional air dodge into down smash. I feel like the way that Dragon Hut spaced himself out just a little bit was good enough to just understand that reading too. But also, he like, you have to really come for the fact that Samus can go for Zare, Nair, and forward air. Speak of the devil, uh, Nair at the ledge. But that wasn't Nair at the ledge, that was ledge. That was Nair more towards the right side of the stage. With a lot of knockback, that's going to be one dead Mewtwo. Yeah, just like that, Rhino Dude's going to tie up the score. One and one I, apiece. I, and I agree with, like, the fact that, you know, every Samus main is built a little bit differently, but, like, you still have to understand the character's toolkit to understand that you do have to edge guard Samus, who's a zoner, a little bit differently than you would edge guard, you know, more more characters. I think Samus and Richter are the two zoners that you have to edge guard very, very differently just because the fact that like you have to account for Zare and then a projectile that they can pull out or an aerial. Yeah, so I'm curious to see what the adjustment's gonna be from Dragnail. Shout out like to the, the longer stage was gonna come into play, but 
Yeah. I don't know. I felt like it was just good ledge trapping from Rhino Dude. They just built up until it was just too much damage and pretty much opened up a lot of kill options for Rhino Dude. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, uh, thank you so much, Arrow Lifted. 22 months to Twitch Prime sub, and of course, that blue pit for 28 months. Thank you guys for the sub, dude. Keeping the, keeping the stream alive. Enjoy the ad free viewing and really good emotes. Yeah, and we got strides dropping some real knowledge in the chat, so be sure to read that as well. One, go. <laughs> okay, we got a character change from Dragon. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> this is something that I was kind of more leaning towards a Lucina or a um, Palutena. Palutena pick, yes. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I would be, I would be surprised if he stays me too, but I wouldn't be surprised if he opts to select Mewtwo because game one went really well for him and I also understand the, the thought process of okay going a character like Mewtwo works really well against Samus but when you want to bring it down to the final game looks like Lucina is the better choice for him yeah especially for a mega smash Monday you really got to go as far as you can for you know with this tournament Okay, Fishin just continuing to juggle. Rhino Dude's gonna recover off the ledge. That's a smart option. You know, he was, was having a little difficulty landing on the platforms. You can see that Dragno had the options covered pretty well. But ooh, ooh that second escape. down smash. That was the one thing that allowed um, Rhino Dude to actually escape from that situation. But I do like the fact that we did see Dragno kind of go for a small attempt for a near one forward smash, but that barely, barely missed it. Up B, out of, up B was a really good situation there for him too as well. Yeah, we saw Dragnail making use of that as well. We see Up B close out the stock for Rhino Dude. Now fighting his way back on stage. Here come the bomb setup. So, ho oh, oh, ho, another wake up attack. Oh, two for two, 32% on a Rhino Dude. Down throw, nice. Following up with an up air, bringing it up to 53. I mean, the one thing that Lucina really excels at is when she got to, at the ledge, her knockback within the sword is just so powerful that you can lose stocks just for, just for being at the ledge. That's true. Here we go. Speaking at the ledge, Rhino Dude's getting stuck, but able to escape with a roll. Saw a big F smash coming out from Dragnil. Must have thought we saw it, or he had the read on a neutral getup. And I'm starting to see that Rhino Dude is slowly but surely pairing a lot of Dragnil's moves. That was a really good charge shot to stop Dragnil from going for a runoff fair or an edge guard situation. Look at that. Rhino Dude is knows that. Dragnail is trying to approach. He covered so many options. He threw out a Nair, then double jump and just fall back. Throwing out another aerial makes it so difficult to, to approach. But still, here's we got a Rhino dude back at the ledge. It's gonna be less Trump time. Four throw once again. I think that's one thing that like slowly Dragnail has to start adjusting himself. Is like he might be one to aim to be a little bit more patient because his opportunities to go at the stage. He's always met with a projectile. Oh, that was so close. I mean, this is why Samus is like a top tier <laughs> online. I mean, look at the down smash. With great range comes great responsibility to take advantage of the fact that there was a bomb ball at the ledge. And if Dragnia went for almost any other option but jump get up, he was going to.